Welcome all to one more interesting session. After my last session on how to make the first sales call, I have been approached by many of my subscribers to talk on the words to be avoided or not to be used during a sales call. Hence, today I am going to speak on those select words which salespersons invariably land up using but actually are being unaware of the negative repercussions which these words may bring to their sales call. Interestingly, many sales training programs keep their focus only on what to sell, including also what not to sell, makes their self speech more wholesome and complete. As sales in business is an immediate result-oriented role, it is observed that often quantity precedes quality in the output or performance report. Hence, it is normal for salespersons to get pushy, aggressive and talkative during a sales call. But being in this aggressive mode, we often land up using words which have the potential to bring more harm than benefit to our sales call thus resulting in rejection of the call than a positive confirmation or closure of the call. Let us understand some of these important ones among many others today. The first one, the use of the word honestly speaking. Being in sales is all about integrity and trust, my dear friends. One cannot use this dialogue midway through a sales call, directly meaning that all that transpired till then was dishonest or not dependable. Hence, all those of you who are in the habit to use this word frequently, unknowingly, are advised to consciously avoid it. The second one, quote unquote, frankly speaking. When your customers is all years to you, one is expected to be frank and transparent. The customer trusts you with the information you are providing on the service on the product. Hence, being frank is given and does not crop up or is expected as an add-on during the course of the sales call. The third one, using frequently the word quote unquote, trust me. Many of us use these words when you need to be emphatic or to be overall taking the customer into your trust limits at certain points of the conversation in a sales call. Using this word means that all that you said till then may not after all be so trustworthy. Hence, avoid using this word in your sales call. The fourth one, sorry for the inconvenience. As a salesperson, one needs to value your own time as much as that of the customer. You are not there to take or dole out favors. You are there to do business. The time and efforts you put into a well worked out prior scheduled appointment or a pre-sought communication is equally important as that of your customer. Apologies have their place when you are wrong, late for an appointment, do not keep up to your commitments, provide false information, etc. But in a routine, well-met sales call, one should avoid being sorry. The fifth one, maybe seriously. During the sales call, while explaining the product or a service, avoid using words like maybe, seriously, as these words invite doubt in the mind of the customer or divert all the attention to only one specific part of the conversation than the whole part. Using maybe conveys that you are unsure, confused or unclear about something related to your product or service. Using seriously means that you are not serious till then. Hence. Keep these words at a distance unless called for a very specific or a clear purpose in the sales call. So those are the some of the common words salespeople love to use in a routine sales call and may land up not only damaging their own hard work and dedication but also putting the customer in the back foot. Hence it is advised we avoid or prevent using these words during a sales call. Hope you like these tips. Do comment on your experiences as a customer or a salesperson as to what was your reaction when you were in a similar situation. 
to have a fair idea as to how one should make a successful sales call do watch my video session on how to make first sales call like share and subscribe for more this is susan signing off do take care of yourselves see you soon Thank you.